Welcome to the another part of book shopping cart series. We are creating this project in .NET 7 MVC and this project contains the sum of the modules of e-commerce projects like displaying products, managing shopping cart and displaying user panel with his orders. And it is not the first video of this series. If you haven't seen other videos, you can check out this playlist. If you don't know me, my name is Ravindra and I'm your instructor for this course. So let's move ahead in this lesson. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, what we are going to do, we are going to add a folder here inside this, sorry, www root. And here we will have our static files. So we are going to add a folder here. Let's name it images. That's fine. And let's add these two images here. So I have created this default image. If we don't have any image present in database, then we will simply display this image instead of that. So I have created this image in ms paint you can also create it or you can you can enter any default or any image it's totally up to you you can create this image or you can use other image also so these are the dimension of this image 254 into 300 so its height will be 300 pixels and width will be 254 pixel okay you can adjust it according to your need you don't rely on these dimensions always okay so let's see and this image also i have downloaded from the database okay so why do i have only one image i have covered in the previous section please check that section if you haven't checked it okay so let's cut these images and paste them here okay, so now we have these two images now what we are going to do in this section we are going to display some products in our home page okay so let's create a repository for it let's name it okay let's create a new folder here repositories and let's add a file here we need a class okay so i am not going to create interface first i will create it later so first let's create a class then we will create interface okay so let's name it home home repository let's same it okay we do not need any property here so let's define some method here first method will be public display books okay it will have string search term let's name it s term okay it is our search string which is by default empty and we will have category id category id equals to zero that's it let's keep it void so let's define here methods sorry link query and what we are going to do right now we are going to open we are going to create a model so let's just see what we need in our home page we need here 
we need a book title book image and author price that's it and i guess everything is coming from the same same what we say same table except for the genre so what we are going to do here just open this table here and just add a field let's add here not mapped okay this field is not going to be entered in the database and what we will declare here we will declare here genre sorry string genre name Okay, so this thing we need here, string, genre name. And this genre name is not present in this table, so we need a join query for that. Okay, so that genre name, that's it. We only need this information from the genre table. So that's it, and we will display one more thing here. It will be genre okay so genre author price that's it so let's create a link query here or let's type a link query here let's name it book books from book in oh, I forget one thing that is we need a constructor here so type type C T O R press double tab and it will create a constructor for us now why we need this constructor here because we are going to inject our database context here database context class okay so right here private read on the database let's see what it was what is our database context class here it is our application db context okay so here is our database context class which is application db context that's fine let's enter it application db context press control dot type it here and just enter it now what we are going to do we are using the powerful feature of global using which was introduced in dotnet 6 so what we are going to do here we are just enter a class here so right click here add a new new class let's name it global usings dot cs okay and we do not need this anything here what i am going to do i'm just going to copy this thing here now when i have copied and pasted it here now you will see that it is saying that the name application db context does not exist in the current context that is why it is happening why because we haven't using this name space here so how we can solve this problem just type here global now this using name space is globally present in our table now you do not need to enter everywhere whenever you need this name space so if we need this name space in this class we do not need to enter it here and it will go so on so if you have second repository which we definitely have and in this second repository we also need to enter this line so we need to enter it multiple times in our project so that's why i have moved it here in the global usings okay that's why i have done it we need some more things here like 
we also need our models everywhere what else we do need here we also need our repositories in multiple times in our project so that's it and we will enter it later okay that's fine so it is saying that public must be preceded member type and okay so let's try it here let's declare the field name which will be db context okay we can also do it like this which i didn't know about which i didn't know previously if i type here db context or just db okay and if i press control dot here we have these several options here rename db context to db create and assign property db create and assign field db so if i click here create and assign field db it will create us for it will create a field for us here and automatically assign the value to this field so we are going to change it to underscore db underscore db that's the naming convention for declaring fields okay now we have connected to our database service now we can continue further db dot book books very good join zandre in db dot zandre on book dot zandre id equals zandre dot id if we type here select new book let's enter some field here like id book dot id and this image equals to book dot image author name equals to book dot author name book name equals to book dot name card detail we do not need it here zandre zandre equals to book dot zandre okay, we cannot do that because zandre is a table zandre id equals to book dot zandre id that's good and zandre name card detail order detail price book dot price and what else we need here the genre name which will come from the genre table that's why we have written a join query genre dot genre name okay now let's see to list async and this method is going to be and async task i enumerable book okay so it is going to return the list of books to us so that's it and let's write here s term equals to s term dot to lower it is going to convert the search term to the lower lower strings okay so here we have this thing now we can do here if sorry where s term string 
string dot is null or empty as term it means whether whether this s term will be null or we will find our records by the term okay so either one of this condition will true s term equals to sorry now we will search if this search term is null then okay if it is not null then we will filter our records from the database depend on this s term okay so how do we filter first of all let's type here book dot name and it should be book dot title that will be more thoughtful name book dot book name dot to lower dot starts with and it should be s term okay so if s term is null then it's okay it will not filter any record but if s term is not null then it will say that hey give me the records of those books which will be starts with this so if you passed here a so s term equals to a so if s term equals to a what it is going to do it is going to give us all the book which have book name starts with a okay so all the book names which are start with a will be filtered here in this list so that's it what's going here so let's put it here inside the brackets okay i guess we can't do that let's put a bracket here let's check one more condition what if we do not have any books then we are also going to check that book dot let's see book doesn't equals to null and let's see are we allowed to do this yeah we are allowed right now i'm not 100 percent sure this method will work fine or not we will check it later when we will test it okay so that's it now we have filtered our code with term or search string okay so let's filter it with category id so simply i'm not going to do here i'm not going to make it more complicated for you so i'm just typing here if category okay it, it is not a category id it was a genre id so genre id so right here genre id is greater than zero then if genre id is greater than zero and what we can do here we can simply filter here books dot books sorry books equals to books dot where okay it should be await books dot where a books dot why it is not working fine books dot to list it is async type so i am awaiting it okay just type here to list we do not need to await it books dot where a dot genre id equals to genre id
that's it to list okay, and since it is our async method so we need to do something about it it expect us to await something so yeah this async method lacks await operators and will run synchronously okay so what we can do here just type here to list async when we will do that this method will be kind of task okay so we have converted this box to this i enumerable book okay so it is converted to this kind of thing but we have to use await here for that okay and let's remove this question mark from here that is fine now okay now we will return this books okay and i guess we are fine we should be fine okay we are fine so what we are doing here we have created a method with async task it means it is a synchronous method which is expecting this kind of data to return so if we are expecting it will return a list of book okay and name is display books and we can also change its name so let's change it get books it is making more sense so we have this method called get books which is expecting two optional parameters first one is search term another one is genre id so if we pass okay but before that what we are doing here we are converting this search term to lower and we can also check here some null condition but it is fine it is not going to give us an error now what we are going here we are using this link query to join two tables genre and book because we need a genre name which is not present in the book table so that's why we have to join book and genre table so now here we are joining these two tables after joining this we are using this to list async because we have to use some asynchronous methods so that we can use the await functionality and this method can be called as a sync method okay but here we have this line where such term is null or empty or, or we can just check it is null or void space is null or white space okay so even if we pass this it will not accept it okay so we can also use it here so we are just checking we are here filtering our records even if we have not any search string then it will return all the records otherwise if we are getting this search term then it will filter our records with search term and we will compare our book name with search term it means if a book name will starts with this search term then these records will be filtered according to this search term okay so here we are checking if we are getting genre id or not if we are getting a genre id then we will filter it with genre id that's it we are returning the books from here now what we are going to do let's create an interface for it home 
iHome repository it is an interface which is not present in our project so just just click here and press control dot you will see this pop-up window where we will see these options and we will select this generate new and it is going to create an interface for us so here it is saying that access public class kind of interface it is interface book shopping cart ui this project create a new file that's it okay now we have seen we can see here that it has generated this ihome repository.cs okay now what we have to do we have to declare these methods there we only have this method so we can copy this line from here to here and paste it here okay and just remove async from here press semicolon here so now we have created our interface now what we have to do we have to register it as a service in our program.cs file so that we can use the functionality of dependency injection okay so open this program.cs file and just type here builder dot services dot add okay let me close this okay we are now fine add transient i home repository home repository okay now we are good and we can remove it from here because i guess we have defined this thing here using book shopping cart mvc ui dot data okay so what we have done here we have resolved our dependency in this section we have registered these services here if you will forget to write these lines you will get definitely error in the near future when you will use this ihome repository as a service so please do not forget to write this line here home repository okay so now let's move here to our home page sorry home controller now what we are going to do we are going to copy this line and let's write here i home repository home repository okay let's write it here also remove the underscore now home repository equals to home repository what we are doing here we are injecting this home repository in our controller okay so that we can use the functionality of this home repository and make sure that you have registered this service in your program.cs file like we have done earlier we have registered them here here okay if you will not write these lines you will get an error that's it now what we are going to do here let's display our data here books equals to and before that we will also write here to 
what we say that optional parameter we will have here two optional parameter first one will be a string s term second one will be integer genre id equals to zero okay so now what we can do here just type here home repository get books and one thing that these two are optional parameter if i do not pass them i will not get any error okay but we need to pass them zandre id that's it Zanre ID okay it has J A Zanre Z E N R E Zanre ID now it is an async task method so we cannot directly get its data it is a task type and we need a list here we need this i enumerable books okay sorry book we need this so it is saying that you cannot implicitly convert this type to this type you can read it here so to remove this error we have to type here await but now we have written here await so it is expecting a synchronous method that's why we have to convert this method to a synchronous one so i think task now we are good so we will pass this thing to here okay now what go to just click here right click go to view and go here right here model i enumerable book okay model i enumerable book now what we can do okay here instead of for each for loop we will write here for each where book in model okay now what we will do here rather than this we will write here book dot title sorry it was not title book name okay here book dot genre name here book dot author name and book dot price that's it we need to do one more thing here first of all we will check at the rate if a string dot is null or empty mod sorry not model book dot image if this is image is null and else so let's write an else condition here if this image is not null okay if we are getting an image from database then what we will do we will just write here images let me see that we have this folder here yeah images slash book dot image okay so we will fetch this name from the database otherwise we are going to display this no image file 
this no image file that i have created you can use any image of your choice that's totally up to you we are gonna display here no image dot png okay, we are good so far now what we have to do we have to use these parameters s term so let's type here s term not here here id equals to s term okay one more thing genre id and that genre id will be display here genre id okay so now we are fine now these list will come from database we will work on that later part first we will check that everything is working or not so here we can see this thing we are getting this data from the database yet we have this image the hobbit we are gonna just do one thing here just one thing so let's type here something like this wait where is our image so let's type here a style width equals to 100 percent height gigst is 300 px let's copy this line and paste it here okay now these images will be even in the terms of height okay. i know it is looking not that much great because these things are very big right now okay now everything is looking even and it is looking ugly it is looking not good so here okay right now designing is not that much important what is important here is that we are not getting this image here let me see why we are not getting it here so let's right click here and here image is null because somehow we have entered a uh, null data except of null we have entered this null in the database okay so null is a string in database okay so that was my mistake that's okay so here we have only entered the image of this book the hobbit and i don't want to waste that much time on finding these images that's why i have used this no image for this project okay now we have to do one more thing here we have to load this list from the database right now it is loading from the what we say loading statically so let's do it now what we have to do here we have to do some changes right now and right now what we have to do we have to go there in repository section so let's create let's open this home repository and here let's create a method public async task i enumerable and it will give us genre list genre okay so let's write here genres genres we can simply return here written db dot genres dot where a dot is no dot to list async we can simply use this let's copy this line and paste it here in our interface 
I guess we are good now. Now what we need to do, we need a new model. Okay, so let's add here DTOs. Let's create a new model. Index sorry book display model dot cs what this book display will contain it will contain two properties first one will be i enumerable book first one will contain the list of books okay second one will contain the list of genres Zandre. That's it. Now, what we will do here, rather than passing directly this list, we will create an instance of that model. So, book model equals to new book display model. Okay, and you can do it like this equals to new. You can also do this. Now let's find I enumerable. Let's name it Zandre. Zandre is equals to await home repository dot get Zandre or Zandre's. I guess we are getting some error and we use like a method so let me see what is happening here home repository Zandres okay here we are getting some error so if we write here oh wait Okay, so let's see what we are getting here. I think I have done some mistake. Let's open this interface file and here I have forget to put these parentheses. Now we are good. Absolutely good. Let's close this thing. And now rather than passing this thing, let's cut this thing here and paste it here we will pass this book model and what we can do here we can just write here new book display model and it will contain books equals to books comma zandres equals to zandres since we are passing this book model here we have to go here and rather than using this we have to use this sorry use this book model book display model okay now what we are going to do let's open this global using and let's write here just copy this line models dot dto Okay, now we able to see it here. Now we need to do one more change here, right? Model dot books. Okay, so this change is done. And let's do one more change here. Right here, we will define a for loop so not here so right here for sorry not here and 
before that we need to do one more thing here name so this name should be genre id and we can also remove this id it is not needed but name is a mandatory field here so just type here name equals to s term make sure that this name should be present here okay this name should be here we have defined it as term it should be here as term and we have defined here genre id it should be here genre id okay these two things should be same otherwise you are not going to get any data there that's it so make sure that it should be matched with your parameters so here we have genre id here we have genre id and i is capital here we have this s term here we have this s term okay so please do not make any spelling mistake Okay, now we have here form so let's type here asp action equals to index that's it and just type here at the rate for each where item sorry where genre in model dot genres let's copy this guy and paste it here and remove all of these three now this value will be fetched from database it will be genre.id and this name will be fetched from here so it will be genre.name genre name that is it why we are getting genre dot id genre dot id i guess we are fine so let's run this project and i hope we are not getting any error right now okay so we are good and we are getting these things from here so if i choose here adventure and type on search then you will see that we are getting all of these things as an adventure so these all of these books are related to this adventure category or adventure genre so let me see here why it is happening that this genre and author are coming in the same line so let's put something here let's define some paragraphs and let's see so if i type here p and paste this author here and if i type one more paragraph and just paste it here let's remove these spaces let's see how it is looking we have to wait for getting changes done okay now we are good okay so it is how it is looking and it is looking more ugly right now okay but it is what it is so now we have checked that this adventure this this is working perfectly so now what we can do here just type here s e a r 
let's type here the let's type here that i want this book name it will it search it for me yeah here if i type here hobbit will it search no i guess that was the hobbit yeah it is here let's do one more thing here and what can we do open this thing here where it is book display model and let's type here string s term sorry public string s term and public int category sorry not category it was genre id okay okay that's it and let's define it here blank let's define it here zero what if i write here book model dot s term sorry book model and i can directly type here s term equals to s term and zandre id equals to zandre id sorry zandre id let's type sorry let's run this project and okay let me stop this thing we need to do one more change okay let's stop it and go here and if i let's remove it this four let's copy this actually it doesn't matter but it should be related to this one and it should be related to test term okay now let's see let's type here value equals to genre dot id if i type here not here here if i just type here value equals to model dot s term and if i write here checked not checked right here selected equals to model sorry model dot genre id model why it is not working model genre dot id equals to model dot let's put it inside these brackets model dot genre id yeah so let's see what will happen now we are not getting any values here but if i type here t i want every book that starts with t so we are able to see this t here okay now we are getting lot of book it starts with t the call of this 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 adventure and science fiction horror romance 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 science fiction so let's see let's type here the horror and let's search it we need a book 
with category horror and it starts with T. So that is very fine. Now I need one more button here. Here. So let's add that button and let's name it reset input type equals to reset reset so let's see will this button display or not let's name let's make it dark okay changes now we are fine so if i click on this will it reset no it is not resetting so what i have to do here let's take it a let's type here href equals to home slash slash home slash index So if I write this thing here, let's see, let's see, let's see. Will it reset our data? Okay, it has reset our data. Now we are getting all the data. So now I guess we have implemented the home page functionality with filter and this thing. What is it? genre id so let's type here one more thing rather than choose we'll type here genre okay and let's wait for it to get refresh okay now oh, we are seeing here genre so this hot reload functionality is working like a charm when we are making changes in the design section now we have created our home page we have displayed our products in home page and let me inform you why this image is not displaying because i have accidentally entered the string null in the database so rather than entering a null value i have entered a string null there that's why we do not have here any image because we do not have any image with the name null in our folder and it is asking for that image so that's why that, that is the mistake okay now we are looking pretty much good so that's it for this lesson in the next lesson we will try to implement the cart functionality we will make this add to cart button functionable or functionable okay so let's see we will see these things in the next lesson so that's it for now catch you later